about courage. Abby, can you put our points up? There. Look, oh, there it is. Look, the queen of beauty and courage. God rescues his people. people. Say it with me. God, God rescues his people. What's our first, Abby? Okay. It says, if you keep silent, the help will come from another place. Who knows? If you came to the kingdom for such a time as this. Now, Queen Esther was full of, what's the C word? Courage. 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 She was very brave. Now, the first thing Queen Esther had to do was she had to go in front of the king. Now, the king's wife died, and he needed a new queen. So he made this whole big pageant, and he had to pick a new queen. Well, Esther had to leave her family to go live in the castle. That was her first time that she had a lot of courage. Which of you wants to leave your family to go live in a castle with people you don't know to follow rules that you've never done? Who wants Nobody. to do that? Nobody. Not me. Nobody. It'd be scary, wouldn't Nobody. it? And then the second thing. The second thing that Queen Esther had courage was she had to go to the king. And she had to be part of this whole giant pageant thing. They did her hair. They put on makeup she probably never had. They even gave her her own clothes. I bet it was really scary. How many of you had to wear shoes that were somebody else's that you didn't know? Maybe you were at a friend's house. And you were out in the mud and you got all muddy and you had to put on clothes that weren't yours? Does that ever happen to you? It's happened to me. Sometimes the boys have to wear girls' clothes and sometimes the girls have to wear boys' clothes because that's what's there. It happens, right? It's a little scary sometimes. Well, Esther, she did all of the things she was supposed to do. Then do you know what happened? Can anybody guess what happened next? Liam? She go to the king. She went to the king. The king picked her. Now, it was supposed to be this really easy job, right? She just had to be the queen. She had to be married to the king. Doesn't that sound exciting? <laughs> but she really didn't have a whole lot to do. She had maids. She had people who cooked for her, people who cleaned for her, people who did her laundry. Oh, how nice was that, right? <laughs> but then there came this really bad thing. She had to be super courageous. Her uncle said, hey, Esther, Haman wants to kill everybody. And Esther's like, what's that got to do with me? Right? Because she's safe in the castle. She's the queen. She's married to the king. You really think the king is going to kill her after he just went through all of this work of finding a new queen? Is he really going to kill her? She was, he was sold to all of the Jews. All of the Jews, all of her family and friends, the king was going to kill them. So, hey, uh, not Haman, but Mordecai. <laughs> just stop there for a minute. Mordecai said, Esther, you're going to have to figure this out. You're going to have to talk to the king or they're going to kill everybody. And Esther's like, <laughs> it was really what she was like. She thought for a minute. Mordecai said, Esther, maybe this is why God made you queen. So you know what Esther decided to do? She said to Mordecai, she said, ask everybody to not eat or drink for three days. And to pray that God gives me favor with the king. Because the king, he could kill her if he wanted to, right? So they fasted for three days. And then Esther invited the king and Haman over for dinner. And then they came for dinner again. And then they came for dinner again. And then, and then Esther was brave. She decided to go up to the king's door. She went. And the king was like, um, uh, hey, Esther, what's going on? And the king said, you may come in. <gasps> that meant Esther wasn't going to die. The king let Esther in. She was very brave. She had courage. Can you say that word? Courage. She had what? Courage. Courage. Esther was very brave and was very courageous. 
And the king, you know what? The king made it so that the Jews didn't die. He let them he let them take up their own weapons and protect themselves. That's what he did. The king took care of Esther because she was very brave. Do you know that God tells us to be brave? Do you know that God tells us that he will rescue us? Our point says God rescues his people. Who does God rescue? It's his people. Do you think it was easy for Esther to go to the king? No. Do you think she was really, really scared? Yes. yes. Did you think she was afraid to fail? What happens if the yeah. king killed her? Then everybody would still die, right? Right. But Esther was very, very brave. Yeah. And she went to the king. And God rescued his people because of Queen Esther. I love that story. It's really cool. What part did I forget? The part about when the guy killed guys. Okay, we're not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> I forgot the part where the dude dies. Oh. The bad guy dies at the end of the story. Yes, <laughs> 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 Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. Amen.